So kill it with fire. It's not doing terribly. I should probably remember to go with the publisher the next game I make, though. Okay. We're all good. Oh, shoot. You are not efficient at all. Go on vacation. Okay, well that, let's create a custom engine. Let's turn off graphics. So we want V3. You want simple cutscenes, tutorials, better user experience, all of these things. Okay, that's going to be a lot. We're going to call this the, the uh, we've got the Shrek -gen. Okay. TS is no longer supported. And we should be good. So Get Live With Fire did okay. Not as well as I needed, but it didn't do bad either. And the new new engine should kind of save our butts here. Push things forward a little bit. Okay. Say so the Shrekgen is ten times fast. Well, invested a lot of money into it. Shrekgen is now complete. So, let's, uh, let's... Develop a new game. Let's, let's give it a bit. Let's see. Pick a topic. So we're gonna go... Every... Oh. Post-apocalyptic for everyone. We're going to make it a post-apocalyptic action game. We already made one of these, so we're going to call this one, um, we're going to call this one Mad Mod, uh, platform, obviously PC, always PC, and game engine, the Shrek, Shrek Gen, medium, everyone. Cool. And we're going to go with, this one's going to be 2D graphics v3. Okay, Kill with Fire is now off the market. Uh, sold. Eh, made about a million. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we've got Grognar. Engine story quest is not important. Gameplay is pretty important as far as I'm concerned, and engine a little bit less so. And we're going to put Grognar on that. Ooh. It gets him stressed out. So you know what? Oh, really? He doesn't get... That doesn't change? Weird. Okay. Well, let's just turn everything on. This is going to either make or break. And I kind of want to see what happens. Let's see. Really should invest in consoles. No! PC Master Race! Also, anytime I release on anything else, it just seems to go terribly. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's because Grognar's working on both the engine... You know, these are both important. Might not be a bad idea to just have Grognar just take engine and gameplay. Yeah, let's do it. I got plenty of other developers here. Come on, guys. Actually get me some dots. Otherwise, we're in trouble. But considering I almost solely play... Let's see. Dialogues are not important. AI, better dialogues, level editor. Actually, dialogues aren't important. We don't need better dialogues. Okay, uh, so level design. Jimenez. Actually, let's have Philip Fresh on that one. Because Jimenez is good at, better at technology. In that case, yeah, he's currently on AI, so this makes sense. What about the Game, game Boy? I uh, made a hit on that. No, I didn't. It was not very good. Every single good game I've ever released has been on PC. Okay, Grep, mm, Grognar, level, world design. Let's do... Yemen is there. Design. Sign, sound is kind of important. Yemen is, we'll have Dean work on that one. Do mono sound, open world. And a lot more on world design, because world design is kind of important. Okay! Nobody's super stress, so this actually works. Oh no, Kill with Fire had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Consumers are having a bad time and demand we patch the game. Either spend money and time to patch it, or, or ignore their pleas if you want to patch the game. Click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. But make sure you don't wait for too long. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish this. Okay. Develop patch. I think Mad Mod is actually going to turn out quite well.
Okay. Seems reasonable enough. This is gonna do well. Probably. Good management. I've already done the combo before, but we know it's a good one. Alright, let's release the game. Let's see. Salary increase. Multiplayer better AI and day night cycle. Nice. Okay, game review. It's looking pretty damn good. Alright. So player weakness uh player strengths, go PC. Action games work well on PC. Yeah. Focus on gameplay service well. Okay, Punch Everything is released. A much needed patch for Kill the Fire. Love companies like Punch Everything that don't just milk their com customers for more money, but also understand our concerns and make sure we enjoy our games. Okay, popular uh, genre simulation. It worked out well. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's send Angel Dean on vacation. Let's start some research. Uh, not marketing. We should probably do marketing. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can do? Not really. So let's just faff about and wait. Okay, so we're making some money left. Okay, latest game by Punch Everything has re received a very positive score. Given a 9, saying great. Uh, innovate like this and we might become a new fan favorite. Okay, market has normalized. So let's do generate game report on Mad Mod. Generate game report on Kill It With Fire. Okay. Uh, marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. Okay, so I'll do that if it's getting good stats. But Mad Mod seemed to have done well for itself. Very high stats. Okay. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Good to know. Alright, while you're here, why don't you research... New topic. Pirate! Okay. Kill with fire, racing simulation is great combo. AI seems to be very important for that type of game. Good to know. Okay, fans are doing well. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do next. Let's let him finish his thing. Oh shoot, I can't do uh, multiplayer yet. Oh well. I guess let's uh, develop a new game. So this one's going to be topic. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go all in again. Let's find a publishing deal. No license. I don't have it yet. Evolution Adventure for this Vino Oasis. Royalties pay up fr upfront pay. No license medium minimum score five. That seems easy enough. Minimum score four. It's not very new, though. Let's go for it. Accept contract. Uh, sure, why not? I got money. So this is going to be for everyone. Evolution, Adventure, Vino Oasis, Pick Game Engine, Shrekchen, obviously. So we're gonna call this one, um, the... The... We're gonna call this one Lizard Fighter Monsters. Okay, and it's going to have 2D graphics. And... Oh, hey, G G3. Uh, by having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype games. Uh, let's see. Well, sounds good to me. So, let's see. Grognard. Now, this is an adventure game. So, story and quest is very important. Uh, Gameplay is a little bit less so. We'll have... Who's best at design? We want Grognar on this one. We're, ju we're just gonna max out Grognar right off the bat. On the important stuff, though. Okay. Game is off the market, made two million sales. Go, go, Mad Mod. Probably one of my more successful games. Okay, so next up we've got AI. Let's have Phil Fresh on that one. Actually, no. No, we're, we're having Jimenez on that one. Uh, fill it fresh on level design, that makes sense. And this is an adventure game, so dialogue's pretty important too. Okay, this seems reasonable. And better dialogues, we can turn that on. Notice the percentages. I have no idea what that means. Okay, so this is not as much of a bang-up title. Oh, overworking Grognar. Now he's at 100%. 
He'll be fine. Uh, let's see. So max that, max that. Ba mono sounds. Okay. Angel Dean's kind of the low one. Jimenez. World design. Let's have Phil Fresh and Jimenez. Okay, so I don't think this is going to be as much of a bang-out title. What is this? Okay, so let's see. Marketing. Very effective. Reach potential customers, but can be very expensive too. Best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Okay, so this... We want low level marketing. How much money you pump in will not make it a bad game successful. Can hurt marketing bad games too much. Upset your existing fans. So magazines, magazines and demos, small campaign, large campaign. Let's go magazines and demos. Actually, let's just go magazines. Let's see what happens. This is not that bang out of a game. We'll get there. So let's let the hype kind of peak. See if it gets up to like five. Doesn't look like it. All right, game convention, small booth, medium booth, large booth. Let's just go small booth. Finish those bugs at the very least. I want to finish the game. Oh, damn it. New combo, good management. A lot of levels up. Okay, release game. Ah, oh, salary increases, new research, dialogue tree, stereo sound. Game review. Uh, came in. Shows potential. Quirky but good. Focus on world design, serve the game well, and fun at stages. Okay, which I believe fulfills the uh, contract. Sold for quite a lot, too. Alright, so while we're here, generate game report on Lizard Fighter Monsters. Uh, let's see, we've got a lot of research points, let's start doing that. Uh, multiplayer, obviously. Uh, dialogue tree, I can almost do it, damn. Wait, he'll give me some research points. Okay. Required ratings, and they like me. So we've made... A fair amount of fans. Game conventions will create a bunch of hype for your game, so try to time it. Try to hold the game until right after the convention. Okay. I mean, it got me 54,000 fans, I think. Oh, visiting the booth. Okay, we didn't make it in the top 100, but uh, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Angel Dean, start researching. We want dialogue trees. And you need to go on vacation because your efficiency is garbage. I almost kind of wish you could automate that. Anyway, hey, today Vony has announced their very own console called the Play System. Apparently the company has completely reworked the earlier Play System uh, prototype after an Invento canceled the product. A new game uh, play system comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and is wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Invento declined to comment. The play system will enter the market in two months. Alright. So we've completed multiplayer. New research available. Secret. Uh, sequels. Uh, let's see. Evolution and Adventure is a terrible combination. Story quests seem to be very important for this type of game. Platform audience match is good and topic audience match is bad oh platform audience match is good topic audience match is bad okay that makes sense okay god i'm apparently really hungry my stomach hurts oh well uh so let's see let's train angel dean it's kind of bad isn't he yeah he is all right whatever this will take a little while not too long though might as well send these guys on vacation. Oh, I see. Vacation just charges them back up, so it won't take too long. Okay, so the Vony has been released. So we're going to make... Oh, he just doesn't come back. Alright. Let's develop a new game. Mm, do we want to? Okay, he's back now. Perfect. Okay, so let's... Develop a new game. Actually, let's see what uh, publishing deals we got. So you want... Racing any genre... Okay, so we're gonna make we're gonna make this 
Uh, it's for the PC. That should be perfect for me. I'm pretty good at PC at this point. So it's going to be Mature. It's going to be Racing Simulation, obviously. And it's going to be the Shrek Gen. And let's see. So we've got the Will Race for Food. It's going to be for everyone. And should be good. Okay, so it's going to be 3D graphics. I haven't done this before. And everybody is fairly good. Okay, so I'm just going to have Max Engine. Story quest meaningless. So let's take off those. We don't need them that much. Okay, those don't adjust that much. So yeah, I usually just have Grognar handle the first couple ones. Because those are pretty important. Okay. Also, Grognar is kind of a tank. So there's that too. Come on, guys. We need a good racing game here. We need a very good one. Oh, come on. You can do better than this. Let's fill a position. Oh. Uh, hi, this is Jason Green from the Gaming World. I got word that, word that Punch Everything is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game? Sure. Uh, what's your expectation regarding the success of Will Race for Food? Let's be modest. Okay, thank you for your time. So let's fill position. We want... Let's do game dev demo. Okay, and Lizard Fighter Monsters did not do nearly as well as Mad Mod did. Oh well, not the end of the world. So we've got next up level. Okay, dialogues is meaningless. AI is the most important thing. Level design kind of goes in there somewhere. Okay, let's take Jimenez. Oh, Jimenez is already there. Perfect. Let's take off better dialogues because who who gives a darn? Right, right. Okay, and Joshua Flores, good technology, good design, that's not bad, that's not good. Okay, Flores it is. Okay, how's our cash doing? Staying pretty even, come on you guys, you can do better than this. I just hired you, you don't need a vacation, son of a bitch. Oh, maybe we just need to train him in. Okay, so we're gonna have Flores is busy. Sound is very important. Uh, world design less so. Graphics. Okay, and who's this? Angel Dean? Let's have Phil Fish work on that one. Crank up the graphics just a little bit. There we go. Angel Dean is not pulling his weight. I might end up find it, firing him along the way. Ooh, look at that. Look at that little burst. That's exactly what we're looking for. And we've got a lot of time to do some bug fixing. So hopefully this actually turns out quite well. Oh, shoot. Marketing. Uh, let's do magazines and demos. I don't know how much this actually helps the hype. Probably should have done that earlier. Let's see if it goes up or down. I can deal with one. Looks like it's staying even. Alright, well this is what we get. New record on technology. Nice. Okay. Let's see. So we've leveled up story quests. Yeah, we're doing well. Haven't done much for 3D yet. This is a bit concerning. Uh, but then again, I should probably level up 3D to, you know, V2 before I really spend too much time with it. Anyway, let's release the game, see what happens. Branching story. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Generate game report. We'll race for food. And the reviews have come in. Come on. Yeah, I can't wait for the sequel. Sequel. So, 9, 10, and... 10. Outstanding achievement. Alright, this should make a fuck ton. So, can I not send you on? Alright, whatever. Uh, achievement unlocked. Cult status. New standard for the game, early gaming industry. Nice. So, let's research some stuff. Uh, let's see. Better AI. Night cycle. Stereo sound is tempting. Sequels. We want to make some sequels. Need more time allocated to a category if you feature in that category. Open world should allocate a fair amount of time to world design. Makes sense. Anyway, uh, they're quite happy with that one. We've sold millions of units. Yes! Okay. Do you have enough for a day-night cycle? Not yet. We're getting there. Okay. World design seems to not be important for the type of game. Topic audience match is great. Okay. Let's research. Uh, day-night cycle? Yeah, might as well get that out of the way. 
Okay. News. Uh, will race for food. News game by Punch Everything Incorporated caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Will Race for fo Food is one of the rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. Okay, seems Punch Everything Incorporated really made gaming history with w Will Race for Food. Well done. Yay. I made like $7 million. If only I could do this in real life. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. You now have more than 100,000 fans. With such a big fan base, you should now be able to self-publish medium games. Nice. Oh, wow, that really boosted me up. Okay. Once you're done with that, I'll send him on vacation. Or fire him. Knack for security, do some security upgrades. Sure. Why not? Better start training him, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, it's, oh, he's looking better now. So let's uh, start our next game. Uh, do we want to develop a sequel? Not for wait, we'll race for food. That's for certain. Wizard fighting monsters? No. Mad Mod is tempting. Kill it with fire. It was okay. Poking Men, definitely not. Dave's Flex went well. Waterlands was okay. Shadow of the Key Colossus. Now that is a game we haven't uh we haven't seen in a while. When was that made? Year five. Four years later? Yeah, let's make another Shadow of the Key Colossus. Alright, so it's gonna be mature, it's going to be medium, it is going to be Uh Wait, uh the last Keith. Prison Simulation. It's going to be on PC, because that is what I do. And it is going to be on the Shrek Gen. Absolutely. It's going to have... It's still going to have 2D graphics. We're kind of going for, like, a Prison Simulator. Uh, pr prison Tycoon. Feel. Okay. And, as usual, let's just include all of these things, because why not? Let's see. Story and quest just a little bit. Let's just let Grognar kind of, kind of handle stuff, because I mean, he's Grognar. Let's see. Oh, let's hope this actually goes well. Looks like the dots are coming in. Oh yeah, look, look at that shit go. All right, we're gonna start marketing immediately. Oh, let's do. I got money for it. Let's do a small camp, uh, small marketing campaign. Okay, next up. Uh, dialogues are meaningless, level design, Jimenez, Jimenez, you're the tech guy. And we'll do better dialogues just because we can. Come on, you guys can do better than this. I'm one of the 40s, maybe 50s. Oh, sea lime, have a good one. Okay, Vini Gear will be taken off the market. And we'll race for food, made $13 million in sales. Really? Sold 10, 000, 10 million units and... Oh, wait, no. It probably made a lot more. They just took a lot of our money. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, let's see. S sound is still important. We want mono sound. Uh, Philip F Fish. What's good on that? Angel Dean Flores. Who's better, Jimenez or... Let's have uh, Flores work on something for once. Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks like this is going to be a pretty good hit. Let's see, small booth, medium booth. Let's go for a medium booth on this one. Let's see. Uh, and then we'll release the last Keith after the fact. Is that the last one, or is there like one more tier? I can't remember. Oh, no it wasn't. So when's, the, when's that gaming convention? Well, I guess I'm just going to sit on this one for a little while. G gaming convention? There we go. The last Keith and we'll race for food. Well, they're f ooh, they're filing in pretty damn fast. All right, I am I'm psyched for this. Three times as many. Uh, didn't make it to the top 100 booths this year. Damn. Game more fans. I'm sure we will. Okay, hype is 115. Jesus Christ. Okay, Vina Gear is no longer supported. Finish that game. I think it's record-breaking in every category. All right, the last Keith. Good management. Gameplay. Story and quests. I mean, these are meaningless. But, uh, should have gone large next time. But 115 hype. That's pretty damn good, considering the last one was at, like, 47. Grogner levels up. Long last. Jimenez levels up. 
Okay, Joshua Flores. Yeah, I might actually end up firing Angel Dean. His stats just aren't good. Anyway, let's release this game. Professional, reach level 5 with character. Yay, Grognar. Someone on your team has reached level... Uh, experience level 5. This unlocks a special training called Boost. Once the training... Uh, the training for it is expensive. You can only do it once per character... Once the character has 500 design or technology points. But the investment is well worth it. Once trained, the boost will allow you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you make a hit game. Due to the increase in experience, uh, everybody gets a raise. And special training available for Grognar. Okay, so while we're at it... Uh, the reviews are in for The Last Keith. Great! Almost perfect. Simulation works well on PC. And... Great sequel! Okay, so not quite as hit as the last one, but it should make me a fuck ton of money anyway. Okay, so while we're at this, let's see, anything research-wise I can do? Let's do some new topics, we need them anyway. Let's see. So how much how much did it sell? Punch Everything has released a sequel to their game Shadow of the Keith Colossus, newest game in the series titled The Last Keith was met with great responses. Okay, made almost a million on the first day. Uh so not as much as if we had a publisher, but close enough. Oh, he is not very efficient, is he? All right, well whatever. New topic. I'm just going to get as many Topics as I can, and then I think I'm gonna call it. Cause I am cold, I am tired, and I am hungry, and I have 15 million dollars in the bank. All right, so far so great. Really enjoying this one. This is a fun game. I do kind of miss the uh, the amount of like different tasks I had to manage in Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, and also kind of miss the overall visuals. That said, this has still been pretty fun. So dialogue is not important, and topic match is great. Uh, Joshua Flores is still new to the team. A few more games, he'll have higher potential. Okay. And that went beautifully. So, with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of, uh, Game Dev Tycoon. And as always, thanks for watching. So I'm gonna go get some food. God, I'm hungry. I also have not saved the game in a very long time. Or maybe it's always been saved. Load game. Auto and slot one. Ah! Close enough.